Well, I'm really delighted to have your company today. And today, I'm going to draw a woodpecker. Now, the very first time I ever heard of a woodpecker was in a cartoon when I was a little boy. Woody Woodpecker. <laughs> That's the Woody Woodpecker song. Okay, I'll be okay in a minute. <laughs> so, the very first time. And now, would you believe, in Ireland, in recent times, the lovely woodpecker has returned. And here it is. We're going to draw the great spotted woodpecker. Now, there's lovely woodpeckers all over Europe, in America, Canada. So do have a look out for them wherever you are. So, very quickly, the male has a lovely patch of red on the back of his head there. That's the male. Female doesn't have it, has a little bit of yellow there, but underneath here they have lovely flashes of pinky red. And the rest of the body is black and white, and they're just about a blackbird size, if you think of the European blackbird. Now very quickly, I'll show you how to work out the shape before we get into the, the proper drawing, just so you know. And you, I'm using a crayon at the moment. You can use a pencil or whatever you like. So roughly the, the head is this kind of egg shape. It's handy, isn't it? The bird. And again, the body would be roughly that kind of shape like it. It's again like another big egg shape. And then we can put a line across here where we want to indicate the bill. And a line there just to indicate where we want to have the eye. And the amazing thing about the woodpecker too, it's got, it's got a very stiff tail like that. And that, that helps to support it as it moves around the, the tree trunk. So that's roughly that. And say on the other side, we'll draw the same thing. So they're almost looking at each other, very happy with themselves. And again, indicate the tail. By the way, their feet are amazing. They're very flexible. They can have the uh, two toes forward and two toes back and move them around. Very, very clever. <laughs> now, if you were banging your head all day, uh, you'd be pretty sore, wouldn't you? Lucky enough for woodpeckers, they have a special skull and a special cushion part that helps them uh, deal with this banging, drumming away. So I'll just roughly indicate where I want to put the, the trunk of the tree. Again, you can do this any shape you want. So that's roughly how it's drawn. And now we'll, we'll go into a bit of detail. So as you can see with this shape, uh, it's, got, it's landscape. This is what you call landscape. If it was this way, it would be called portrait. So with the crayon, I'm gonna start up here and draw a curve like that. Stop there. Then extend the bill out like that. Now these birds usually breed in April and they usually have about four to seven eggs. Uh, they're white. Normally these birds are pretty solitary. That means they like to be on their own. But during the breeding season, that's enough. We love to get together and have a family. And, and they'd stay together for at least three years. So I'm drawing that bit and then I'll just indicate where I want to put the feet, like that. And I'll do a nice little uh, cartoon eye up here. So again, slightly egg shape like this, little curve like that, and little black 
little grape shape in there. And I'll give it a tiny little smile. So we're just having a bit of fun. Now, the next thing I want to do is roughly indicate the white patch and there's some white uh, near the uh, parts of the, the primary feathers and the rest is overall black. As I said, this, apart from this little flash of colour I'll put in in a few minutes. I'll go straight over to the, the other one and I draw a curve like that and the bill and then we just bring the line like around like that and extend it down like that. Now I say I was lucky enough to see see these wonderful birds in in Ireland, in Wicklow, uh, County Wicklow and County Wexford, and lovely lucky enough to see woodpeckers in in Canada, in America, in Europe, especially in Bulgaria. So it's always very exciting to see these creatures. Now, if anybody's interested in knowing more about birds, you know. In Ireland, we have what's called uh, a, a great organisation called Birdwatch Ireland. And in Britain, there's a wonderful organisation called the RSPB. And there's great organisations all over the world if you want to check out. So if you want to know a bit more, these are the best people to maybe to get in touch with. So, her eyes roughly the same but it's looking a little bit more uh, alert so to speak but she's got a smile as well and she's got the, the nice big white patch here and just indicate that now what we do is we work up and draw a line up here and bring it down like that and bring it off like that this is the uh, the tree trunk now a lot of people, uh, if you ask them what colour is a tree trunk, they'd say um, brown. Well in actual fact, if you really look at trees, especially tree trunks, they can vary in colour. And a lot of them can look very mossy green because they do have a lot of moss on them and lichens and stuff. And of course others uh, have a lovely reddish hue off them. And uh, some can look very grey and some of them can look... Uh, even almost black. <laughs> so it's it's not just, as they say, brown. So that's the great thing when you draw or you like to take photographs or paint or anything like that. It makes you get your eye to really look at things. And then the world opens up for you. So that's, uh, that's the tree trunk. And I'll just roughly indicate a few more trees in the background. This is just to add a little bit of uh, design and mood as well because they're usually deep in the woods when you see them or hear them drumming. I say it's the male that drums and he does that to attract the females usually or to tell other males to keep off this is my territory. So I'm just going to darken this up very quickly with the crayon. And I leave this patch clear here because it's, it's going to be red. So if you have a woods nearby you, uh, do check that. And you never know, you might have these wonderful birds in there. And you know, if the people who go out uh, feeding birds, and it's always good to feed the birds, these uh, particular birds will actually come to a feeding station and they will enjoy peanuts and suet. So, uh, so if you, you don't have to buy anything very special for these to come and visit. Now, let's put a 
little bit of uh, color in there. A little. Here's our little uh, pinky red color. And we put it up here. And we put it down here like that. So that's just give you a rough idea how to uh, draw this lovely bird. And as I say, if you're lucky enough to be able for a walk, uh, do check out and you just might hear it first because that's the way you do it. You hear the drumming. Well, it's great having your company today. Uh, I'm glad uh, you like the drawings and of course, as I said, it's always a pleasure for me to draw these things for you. So until the next time, do take care. Bye bye. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you wish.